I'm here with one of the legends of audio, Frank Van Alstein. Frank, how are you? Good. You're here in the Salk Audio Room and you're showing your products and tell us about what you have. Okay, we got a bunch of new things uh, that we're playing today that are brand new. This is our new DAC. Uh, it plays all sampling rates and DSD and SPDIF and whatever. Okay. And it does it switches automatically and transparently between everything. No clicks, no pops. Okay. No ticks, just totally seamless, no drama. Plays it all. I am running it today with a new T10 RB vacuum tube preamp. I look at that. RB stands for real basics. Which it is, but that's so we could get a price down of a state of the art piece to eight hundred and ninety nine dollars space. Get out of town. And uh, that even uh, includes a exquisite headphone amp built in. And it's super wide band. Okay. Down three dB at three hertz and three hundred thousand cycles. Mm -hmm. Uh point oh three THD and IM. Super low noise because there's Three separate ground planes, one for the audio, one for the high voltage, one for the low voltage, mm -hmm. and there's no charge currents whatsoever in the audio ground plane. Okay. They all go to a star ground. And it also has separate multiple regulated power supplies, one for each plate of each tube, plus the heaters. And uh, so it ends up being very quiet, and we get to make the tube do what we want it to do, which is to give explosively dynamic and pure performance. Mm -hmm. Running <coughs> standard with six DGA eight, six DGA eight tubes. Okay. It will also take six N one P's and six CG sevens. Tell us about the amps. The amps. The ones we're running are brand new. There's one on each side, and those are our DVA eight fifty mono. Those mono blocks. They're uh, eight hundred fifty watts and eight ohms. Uh, they are. Um, hybrid MOSFET vacuum tube, triode input, triode MOSFET <coughs> uh, driver circuitry, and a full complementary MOSFET output circuitry. That's a lot of power for that it's size. It's a lot amp. of power, but in normal use, they're just idling. The heat sinks are very yeah, warm see. room yeah. temperature. Yeah, I'm going to go touch them here, folks. You don't care about touching them. Yeah, no enough to worry about. No. 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 So, and those are driving saw cob. Uh, Soundscape 8s, which are absolutely gorgeous speakers. Now, this Salk, uh, folks, uh, Jim Salk is a, a master speaker designer, and his fit and finishes are, I, I've never seen anything better. Yeah, I'm using they're, quality. They're the yeah. best finished speakers that you can get, and he will do them in any fit and finish you want. Uh, and, you know, you'll pay extra for premium finishes, but yep. even the standard finishes are better than most people's premium finishes. That's amazing. And our source is a Salk Soundstream streamer, mm -hmm. which uh, has got a hard drive built in and uh, it's being controlled by an iPad okay. with all the music that tells it what to do and that just feeding into the uh, USB input on our preamp okay. uh, and on our, on our DAC. And mm -hmm. So that means we have Hard drives full of music available, which is kind of neat. Well, it's a one beautiful looking system, and I, I love that you've gone from where you started in audio to where you've ended up, and you've really come really the full length, the full That's distance. Right. And of course, we still build much smaller, lower powered amplifier. The one in the middle is our FET Valve 600R, 300 watt per channel mono uh, okay. stereo, which is going to sound the same as the big monoblocks as long as you don't need more than 300 watts a side. Okay. And of course that one's $34.99 uh, for 300 watts a side. Well you sure can't beat prices. Stand aside, let's look at the finish on the speaker over here. Pepper word, pepper wood the, burl. Yes, gosh. Uh, that is an ex... You, you describe it, Pete. Uh, bookshelf, I mean... Oh, yeah, there are 40 panels on that speaker. There are 40 pieces of veneer no, on that one speaker. No kidding. All book matched. They're gorgeous. And the ones on the outside are 
supercharged sun towers, and the finish on that is a curly maple done with a purple dye. Now, these speakers, if I was consumer, I walked into the room and fell in love with them, and I wanted to take them home tomorrow, what would be the MSRP? Base price is $89.95 on the Soundscape 8 in a standard finish. Okay. So this is not a standard finish. Obviously. No, that's a very unstandard finish. So you'll pay it up of $5,000 more or how much more? It depends. Okay. Uh, typically veneers will probably run anywhere from $300 to $1,200, depends on okay. what you're looking for. This was an exceptional veneer, so it was well over the $3,000 mark. I've never seen a more beautiful sock product ever. Yeah. I heard a good story about sock finish a few years ago. And there was a client who he had his, ordered a set of small book seal speakers, and the guy had just got a new Porsche and some kind of electric glue. And he asked Jim if he could uh, duplicate the finish on the Porsche. Mm -hmm. And Jim said, sure. Mm -hmm. And so he did. And he sent him the uh, little speakers. And shortly thereafter, the guy called Jim back, and he was really pissed. And he says, I never knew that the finish on my Porsche was that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great end to a story. Can we listen to some music next? You bet. Okay, okay. Yeah, turn it up, please. Okay. Thank you, yeah, Frank Van Der Steen. Track 8, please. Thank you. This is song in a duo with Vincent Belleger, the cellist. Thank you. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate your interest. Thanks.